A U.S. President Donald Trump has escalated his war of words against this institution. It's the uh, American Central Bank uh, calling the Federal Reserve his biggest threat. Now, his remarks are the latest in a series of attacks on the Fed. The central bank has been slowly raising its benchmarks rates since uh, 2015 with the intention to shift rates away from the ultra-low levels of the financial crisis. The Fed has raised rates uh, three times, in fact, this year and suggested that a fourth one may be on its way. Well, my next guest says the president views the higher cost of borrowing as a handbrake to the economy. Currency expert Peter Maguire joins me live now from Sydney. Welcome to the program, Peter. So calling the Federal Reserve a threat, uh, it's an institution that's uh, expected to remain independent uh, of the government, is not what most U.S. presidents normally do. So why is President Trump so worried about rising rates? Well, I think on a number of different fronts, you'd have to say that he's probably got a business hat on and he's looking at the big picture as far as interest rates and what impact it has as far as possibly slowing the economy with midterms around the corner and a growing US economy with employment very, very strong and a very, very strong stock market. So they're the issues that he faces. Mm -hmm. and, and what's the Fed's point of view in all of this? Uh, why have they been raising rates? Because we know in recent weeks we've been talking about US inflation, but most people think it's fairly under control. Well, that's right. I mean, you know, when you're looking at it, we've had those three rate rises. They're looking at possibly more naturally over the 19 and possibly even into 2020. And they've been raising rates to contain, uh, you know, the growth side. We've had very cheap money really for about eight or nine years now since the GFC. And it's just a ratcheting process uh, moving up from, you know, extraordinary low rates. And that's, um, that's where the Fed's looking at it. They're getting a neutral stance. That's where they want to be, you know, focused on. And mm. it's just a, a natural course in any economic cycle right. to raise rates. Now, earlier you mentioned uh, President Trump has his business hat on, that he's really looking out for businesses' interests and trying to keep the economy ticking along. He doesn't want to uh, put a handbrake on the economy. So does he have a point, though, that perhaps the Fed is raising rates at a time when the rest of the world isn't doing so? And there's lots of concerns about the global economy. Well, exactly right. I mean, you know, when you look at it from a holistic point, you see that Japan hasn't raised rates, Euro region, naturally, you know, the likes of Australia and so on, and many other, you know, uh, first world uh, economies. He has the other side where, you know, not only do they raise rates, but it strengthens their dollar naturally. So with a stronger US dollar, it makes it uncompetitive on so many different fronts. Right. And that really has another added distraction or another, another major cause and mm. effect to the US economy overall. All right, Peter McGuire there in Sydney. Thank you so much for joining us.